Given the establishment of PNGDF's COVID-19 task force team recently, the planning and preparations enhances the force's capacity to support the country's response to the COVID-19 pandemic and coordinate its efforts in line with what the National Department of Health have already in place. The efforts of our planning and preparation is firstly aimed at uh, protecting our families and ourselves, and that includes all our men who are deployed to the borders, as well as those on maritime patrols, including those on overseas training and courses. The main purpose of the task force is to ensure that those uh, preventative measures in particular are enforced right throughout all the establishments throughout the country. So that has been the main effort. And uh, one of the key activities that we've been conducting uh, over the last two weeks is the awareness of the uh, COVID um, uh, pandemic. Articulating the course of its planning and preparations, PNGDF has conducted a changeover of troops along PNG's land borders. We have started that last Thursday and completed the changeovers yesterday. This includes the changeover of troops conducting uh, tasks up in the highlands. So that's been completed and we now have uh, new troops on the ground. Those who have returned we have also ensured that we put them through a uh, screening and they've answered questions. So we are enforcing our own uh, self-isolation for our troops uh, within the units to conform to the requirements that have been uh, um, um, articulated by the National Department of Health uh, Committee. Confirming the recent deployment and stationing of troops along the PNG Indonesia borders. We have uh, specific areas along the border that uh, we have troops at. Uh, in Vanimo, we have uh, troops up in Wutung. We have troops in uh, Bewani and Scotio. And uh, we conduct patrols all the way down to Green River. Uh, in the southern border, we have troops in uh, Kiunga, who look after from Tabu Bill. We have uh, troops in Wiam and also in Daru. Adding that PNGDF is aware of issues at the borders and are ramping up activities with the support of the Australian Defence Force and if required, troops will be sent in for reinforcement. And there are still some activities which we are monitoring and uh, um, for us uh, we are preparing ourselves along with our Australian colleagues who have been providing advice and assistance to our planning team and we are preparing our, enhancing our capacity to assist uh, the national effort. Anit Kora, National MTV News.